Our bidding war is back in Hamilton, Ontario. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in again this week. It is an absolute pleasure to have you following along. Today's topic is super interesting because there is the phenomenon of bidding wars that could possibly be making their way back into the market. I'm going to break down the numbers, but before I do that, my name is Justin Little, and I'm a local real estate agent here in Hamilton, Ontario that loves making basically educational videos about the real estate market here. Uh, if you like the content you see, be sure to hit that subscribe but and join the growing community as well pop a like on it because this is going to propel that video in front of people that can benefit from information like this so let's dive into it so out of the 232 sales in hamilton in the last two weeks 54 of them went for asking price or higher and strangely enough 34 of them were over asking price so 34 of those 54 so about 15 percent of all total sales were in a bidding war. There was competition. They went for over asking price. Now, does this mean that things are coming back strong? Well, let's dive into it. So of the total sales, the 232 sales that there was, that's approximately 20% of all inventory that sold. So 20% of actual homes that are getting listed are selling, meaning that one out of five are selling, which doesn't seem like a super hot market because before when we were seeing competition, it was almost a sale. Uh, per listing, it was very, very close that percentage, but now only one out of five, and then 15% of those total sales are going into competition, uh, but some factors around that. So the average price of these sales is 731 of the ones that are going for asking price or higher. So we're not really seeing it in the higher price point. In fact, the highest price point that we saw go over asking was the $1.1 million mark. The lowest was 435. So there is quite a spread there, but the bulk of them are happening from that 600 to 800 range. That is where we are seeing it. Now, uh, I also want to see what the most was that went over. And the most was a house that was listed for 599, went for 641. So 140,000 over asking, um, are we in 2021 again? What is going on here? So that was the highest gap that I saw. And it was really only two sales that got 10% more than their asking price. You see majority of them that are going over asking are going over a moderate amount. 10,000, 15,000, something like that, which isn't the insanity that we saw prior. So obviously these are homes that are being priced below market value, but they are picking up some sort of steam. Now, I was trying to figure out if there's any indicators as to why we have bidding wars now, because when I looked back at the stats, this time last year, we had 200 less listings on the market. So we actually have more inventory now and we're seeing competition. So do we have that many more buyers? And interestingly enough, the interest rate is also higher than it was at the same time last year. So why do we have bidding wars now? I have to think that it's all psychological. It's all mindset because it's not like people are qualifying for more. People are qualifying for less than they did last year. People also have more options to choose from than they did the same time last year. Yet we are seeing competition on the same properties. I think a lot of it has to do with the uh, Bank of Canada. Well, it's not even the Bank of Canada, honestly. It's the media. Everybody follows what the media says. The media is saying, oh yeah, in the Bank of Canada's language, they're saying that interest rates are going to go down this year or they're not going to raise them. And I think what's that, what that is doing is psychologically making people think, oh, okay, well, this is the bottom of the market. What's going to happen is rates are going to go down. Prices are going to go up like we saw. So I'm going to jump in now. And then you start to get the mentality that we saw in 2021, where people were buying homes just because they felt like if they didn't do it now, they were never going to be able to do it. They were buying to buy and it just kept adding fuel to the fire and going, going, going. My opinion, what could happen this year? I mean, this could go a couple different ways. Usually I make predictions at the start of the year. This year, I couldn't really lay it out because I think there's two ways this is going to go. I think one, we're going to see the rates eventually decrease. Like who knows? This heat could keep going. We keep seeing buyers flooding the market. The inventory is not coming up. Prices increase. And then when rates come down, it just explodes like it did in 2021. Or we could see the Bank of Canada see this sort of going and then they give us a big smack and 
we end up seeing the rates even bump up another quarter point or they just hold them steady. And then of course, there's one thing that we have to talk about. And that is that 80% of all mortgages in Canada, this is according to Rate Hub, 80% of all mortgages in Canada are coming up for renewal in 2024. That's right, this year. They are coming up for renewal. So what does that mean? Unfortunately, we're probably going to see people that have no choice but to sell because they can't qualify their new monthly payments. People that have equity, people that have been in their home for 10, 15 years, they have a few options such as reamortizing and stuff like that to bring down the payment. But for people that bought in the peak, if they went with a, you know, in 2020, if they went with a four year fixed or five year fixed, somebody that bought in 2019, it could be a bit uh, hectic for them to try to requalify for these high higher rates. Now, this could cause more listings to come on the market. And if there isn't enough buyer demand, then I guess, uh, you know, that could balance things out and things could level out. But what we're seeing right now is a lot more activity to be in bidding wars. You know, at the time of filming this video, I had two listings. Uh, one was on the market for over 100 days. It got two offers on it. One was on the market for over 30 days. We got two offers on it. And then we had uh, a buyer that I showed properties to on a Friday. All three properties were sold, well, conditionally sold, by the Monday, which is another thing that I think we need to point out that's different right now compared to the peak. We're actually seeing people get conditions accepted in competition. Not every time there still are the cash buyers coming in, blowing it out of the water, but there is also, we're seeing people get accepted conditional on financing, some conditional on home inspection. I've yet to see one conditional on sale of property. That's still a condition that is tough to get accepted, especially in a competitive scenario but we are seeing competition but now you can do a home inspection which is nice because it might protect you down the road really i think that we just have to try and wait and see what happens i'm so curious what you think because i'm having trouble putting my finger on this i think that there's two roads we're gonna go down uh, i could go either way i'm always curious what other people think because you always get the people that think oh this is you know things are gonna get worse people aren't gonna be able to pay their mortgages everybody's gonna put their house up for sale people are walking away from from their house and then there's people that think that things are just going to keep pumping forward because the demand is there so i'm curious what do you think leave a comment below thanks again for tuning in this week we will talk to you again next week take care